Guys, this is a 2017 question paper <coughs> for 14 marks. Guys, uh, this is a 2017 question paper. Quickly we will read. The balance sheet of uh, Mr. Limited as of 31st March 2017 is as under equity and liability, 12% preference shares of 100 each, equity shares of 10 each, 10% debentures, outstanding interest on debentures, bank overdrafts, and we trade As Asset side, goodwill, land and building, land and missionary, furniture and fixtures, and uh, land and the uh, Patents and patrons, stock, debtors, cash at bank, and profit and loss fund. So the adjustments. So as I told you, we have to read one adjustment, we have to pass the journal. Then after finishing all the adjustments, we have to prepare a reconstructed balance sheet. Now let's see what is there in the uh, adjustments. Mr. Limited passed a special resolution to reconstruct its affairs and got sanction for the same from the relevant court and the scheme of reconstruction as under. The 12% preference shares are to be converted into same number of 15% shares of rupees 75 each fully paid. See, preference shareholders earlier, we promised them to pay 12% dividends every year. Now, and who paid 100 rupees each, now they are reduced from 100 rupees paid to 75 rupees, but we are paying Instead of 12% dividend, we will pay 15% preference shares. So, this is a 2017 question paper for 14 marks. Journal entries. First journal entry is 12% old preference share capital account debit see totally 12 lakhs we have and they are becoming 15% preference share capital see instead of 100 rupees they are becoming 75 they are reduced to 25 that means for 100 rupees see there are totally 12,000 preference shares per pair now they are becoming 75 rupees each because they are reduced from 100 rupees to 75. So they buy into 75 is 9 lakh rupees. See, when earlier they paid, originally they paid 12 lakh rupees, but they have reduced from 100 rupees to 75. In future, we need to pay only 9 lakh rupees for them. The only difference is instead of 12%, we will pay 15% dividend in when the company start earning the profits. And from 12 lakhs to 9 lakhs, they, come, they have trans, I mean, contributed or they have sacrificed 3 lakh rupees of their capital. So, what is the journal that we can pass is being preferred shareholders sacrificed or reduced. So, this is the first adjustment that we have taken as a journal entry. What is the second adjustment or second journal entry we need to pass is the equity shares are to be converted into same number of equity shares of rupees 5 each fully paid. See, preference shares actually uh, they have paid 100 rupees. I mean 10 rupees they paid. <coughs> Sorry. Equity shares have paid 10 rupees. Now from 10 rupees they have reduced to 5 rupees. So if they have reduced 5 rupees we need to pass second journal entry as old equity share capital account debit. See, old 12 lakh rupees we have to pay for them. From 10 rupees they have reduced it to 5 rupees. So therefore, new equity share capital. So, 
10 rupees to 5 rupees means 50 percent they have produced. That means 6 lakh rupees. And remaining they are contributing towards capital reduction account. How much they sacrificed? 3 lakh rupees. So, narration, what narration you can cost is being equity share capital reduced. Next, uh, third adjustment, if you need, debenture holders agreed to forego interest outstanding subject to condition that the rate of interest to be increased to 15%. See, debenture interest outstanding which is given in the balance sheet, the debenture holders, what they are saying is, we will give up our interest amount but in future you have to pay 15% interest instead of instead of 10%. That is what they are saying. So no problem will pay. So outstanding debenture interest account debit. What is the amount we have to pay? 80,000 rupees we have to pay interest for them and they are sacrificing for capital reduction account. 80,000 rupees. What duration we can pass is, we can pass the general entry as outstanding debenture interest sacrifice or uh, reduced or surrender. Next, the creditors agreed to forego 25% of their client. See, creditors we have to pay 3 lakh rupees. Out of 3 lakh rupees, 25% they are giving up. Means they are sacrificing. So, Creditors account debit to capital reduction account. See, out of 3 lakh rupees, if they are giving up 25 percent, 75,000 rupees they are giving up. So, 75,000 we have taken. What is the narration we can take is the creditors agree to forego or they are forego. Land and building value at 15 lakh rupees. See, if you look at land and building value, it is a 12 lakh rupees. There is an appreciation in the value of land and building. So, thereby, so we have to pass an entry line land and building account debit to capital reduction account. See, totally, there is an increase of 3 lakh rupees of uh, land and building. So, in the balance sheet it is showing 12 lakhs, but now the same land and building value is becoming 15 lakhs. There is an increase of 3 lakh rupees of land and building and we have debited to, I mean credit to the capital reduction account. Now, what is the next entry we can pass is, the amount thus made available to be utilized to write off all intangible and fictitious assets and to bring down the value of plant and machinery by 40%. So now we will show all those things in the last journal entry that is in the 6th journal entry. See before passing the 6th journal entry we should understand what is the amount total amount standing in the capital reduction account. See first is we have 3 lakh rupees in the credit side and here also we have 3 lakh rupees. Here we have 80,000 rupees, here we have 75,000, here we have 3 lakh rupees. Now 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9 lakhs, 9 lakhs plus 75 is 9 lakhs 75, 9 lakhs 75 plus 80 is 10 lakh 55,000. Now capital reduction account debit, capital reduction account debit. 10,55,000 to what are the things we need to eliminate is all intangible assets. Intangible assets we have is goodwill. Goodwill we have 2 lakh rupees that we have eliminated taken out from the balance sheet and profit and loss account we have taken out, we have to taken out is 5 lakh rupees and then what else we have? Intangible assets is one more is there. Patents and patents. Because even this is also an intangible asset. 1,50,000 rupees. Okay. 
And what is given in the last adjustment is last adjustment 40% of plant and machinery to be reduced. See what is the value of the plant and machinery is 10 lakhs. So plant and machinery 40% need to be taken off. So uh, plant and machinery value is uh, 10 lakhs. In this 40% taken off is 4 lakhs is to be taken off. So if you take 4 lakh rupees, please check with do we have enough amount of capital reduction account to wipe it out? See, 4 plus 4 is 5, it becomes 12 lakh 50,000. We don't have so much of capital reduction account scheme. So, once again, 3 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 3 is 9 lakhs, 10 lakh. So, what we can do is, we can take this uh, patents and patterns, patents and patterns at the end. Patents and patterns at the end. What is that end amount we have to take? I will tell you. Uh, plant and machinery account uh, 10 lakhs into 40 percent is 4 lakhs. 4 lakhs. Plant and machinery. So, 4 plus 5 will do one thing. Goodwill, uh, how much is there? Is 1 lakh 55. What is the amount of goodwill? Yeah, goodwill. We will reduce goodwill only to the extent of. 1 lakh 55,000. Now it becomes 10 lakh 55,000. Because he clearly says plant and machinery is reduced to 40%. So I will tell you why it is given in the question clearly. Please read the question once again. Thus the amount available to be utilized to write off all intangible assets, fictitious assets and bring down the value of plant and machinery by 40%. He says, say, say uh, here, total one minute. Okay, guys, here uh, we have done a number mistake here. Old equity share capital was 12 lakhs, and uh, they have reduced from 10 rupees to 5 rupees. So that means from 12 lakhs, they have reduced to 6 lakhs, and remaining 6 lakh rupees is contributed towards capital reduction account. Now 3 lakhs plus 6 lakhs is 9 lakhs. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 1 lakh 55 is 13 lakh 55. Now goodwill is to be eliminated completely 2 lakhs. Okay. And profit and loss account eliminated completely. And plant and machinery is eliminated by 40%. And if you check the total, only 11 lakh uh, rupees we, we have. But uh, one more is there, that is uh, patents and patterns. Patents and pattern is 1 lakh 50. So that also can be taken out. Patents, 1 lakh 50 thousand. Now if you check, uh, 10, 12 lakh, 12 lakh, uh, remaining 1 lakh 55 we have. 5, 10, 1, 10 is 8, 1, 55 thousand. Okay, this is to be transferred to where capital reserve account. So now we'll check the totals. Seven lakhs. and sacrifice 25 rupees equity shareholders they have reduced from 10 rupees to 5 rupees 
So 50 percent they have sacrificed. Gold was 12 lakhs and sacrificed 6 lakhs and uh, keeping as a new equity share capital 6 lakhs. Debenture holders are sacrificing their interest portion, outstanding interest debentures. So and creditors have reduced uh, uh, 25 percent of their liability and land and building is reduced. I mean appreciated to. Uh, 3 lakh rupees from 12 lakhs to 15 lakhs, there is an increase in the uh, land and building work of 3 lakh rupees. The amounts are available 3 lakhs and 1 lakh 55, uh, 4 lakh 55, and uh, 10 lakh 55, 13 lakh 55 we had. Goodwill intangible we have taken out, profit and loss group we have taken out, land and machinery 40 percent we have taken out, patents also we have taken out, and remaining amount is transferred to capital reserve account. Now, what is to be prepared is reconstructed balance sheet. In reconstructed balance sheet, first equity and liability. Uh, first is share holders fund. In that equity share capital. See what is the new equity share capital we have is 6 lakh rupees and uh, preference shares, new preference shares is 15 percent, 15 percent preference share capital of 9 lakhs. Then after that uh, uh, second one is, sorry, uh, third one is reserves and surplus. In reserves and surplus we have capital reserve of 1,5,000 in the last uh, balancing figure. This you can take it as a balancing figure. Okay. Next is uh, second uh, heading is long term loans or 10% instead of 10% they are becoming 15% becoming this. See, debentures earlier we promised to them pay 10 percent interest. Now, since they are sacrificing interest outstanding, so the company is promised to pay them in future not 10 percent, 15 percent. So, 15 percent debentures is 8 lakhs. Uh, third heading is current liabilities. Current liabilities. Bank over of 60,000, Sunray creditors 3 lakhs. So, total we have to calculate. Next is asset side. Asset side is non current liabilities. Non current liabilities. First, uh, fixed current assets. Okay? Current assets. Fixed assets, fixed assets, land and building is appreciated. Therefore, we we'll take instead of 12 lakhs, we we'll take because land and building is appreciated. And plant and machinery is reduced by 40 percent, and uh, now it becomes only 6 lakhs because from 10 lakhs it is reduced 4 lakhs. This is 12 lakhs was there and 3 lakhs has been added, appreciated, 15 lakhs. Furnitures and fixtures, 3 lakhs, no change in this. This is fixed assets. Next, uh, patents, copyrights we have eliminated. Next is current assets. Current assets stock 1 lakh. Debtors one lakh thirty thousand. Cash and bank sixty thousand. Cash and bank sixty thousand. So sundry creditors <coughs> that sacrifice seventy five right. So, 75,000 they have sacrificed, remaining will be 2,25,000, okay. Now, let's see the balance sheet totals, okay. 
okay? 5 plus 5, 10, 1 carries 9, 10, 20, 26. So 26 lakhs 90,000 and this is also 26 lakhs 9. 21, 24, 25, 26, 9. Correct. Now, this is uh, solution for 2017 question paper. Guys, please uh, uh, understand the question. Read the adjustments line by line, word by word. Definitely you will understand. Okay? Thank you. Please subscribe my channel, Sai Study Circle. And uh, if you really understand this, like my uh, videos and forward and share and forward to your friends. Thank you.